after so much of video making and uploading onto YouTube, whether it be puppet or Muppet related stuff, it's putting me a lot of stress and I've, and I've become a workaholic. Plus, I've kept on sensing a lot of videos to the Henson kids over at the Henson studio and pray to God, hoping that I would get a job of working for the Muppets at both either the Henson studio or the Walt Disney studio. Part of me is like that I've gotten so far and my dream is almost coming true. But other times I start to feel and having some self doubt in myself. By that I mean, do I have any confidence in myself that I could make millions of people happy through entertainment and education as well? <sighs> I think maybe I'll probably go for a walk outside. Probably get some fresh air going on. Yep, I definitely think that will probably do it for sure. My friends and my family, including my brother, who I talk to, when I am uh, not feeling like myself, they told me that if I am proud of what I'm doing, whether I am doing this for fame and fortune, and whether I could change my personality as well, I told them that I was proud for what I was doing when it comes to using these puppets for entertainment, education, and I was not looking for any kind of fame and fortune. Once I told them my answer to their question, they said to me to never put so much of self-doubt onto yourself and always keep your head held high without any complaining about it. Hey, Dan. Oh, hey, Jack. Hey, are you doing okay there, Dan? Well, yeah, I guess. Here, let me sit down and look at you. Oh, sure. Is there something in the barn thing, Dan? Well, I don't know. I feel like I'm just having a little bit of self-doubt into myself. Like, like what? Like, sometimes I feel like that if I'm doing this for like the right thing, you know, I mean, well, 
Here's my question for you, Dan. Are you doing this for like fame and fortune? Well, no. I'm just doing this to like entertain and educate a lot of people, you know? Well then, never try to put so much of self down into yourself, you know? Besides, you and your, your friends and family have always he's been there for you, and not only that, but they always help you out, support you, no matter what happens. Hmm. Yeah. So, so never try to put so much of self down into yourself. Just keep your head held high and you know, just keep moving forward. You know what? Uh, yeah. Thank you so much for your help there. Sometimes, sometimes I just need a little bit of encouragement from my friends and my family. Yeah, for sure. Any hey time, Dan. Let's head back home. Okay. This helped me so much because my biggest fear that I have been also struggling, besides the autism part, was that the self-doubtness is getting to and putting so much weight onto me. But with my but but with my help and encouragement coming from my family and friends, I feel so much better after hearing all of that. Da -da -da. Hey Dan. It's me. John here, and I got a message for you. Let's take these glasses off. So, this message just to you goes like this. Your puppeteering over the years has been badass. Your dancing, all that great puppeteering is fantastic. And you really earned your way to get into Henson Studios. I'm very proud of you. And all the nice, kind things you've done for me over the years, being a great friend, having my back. Helping me in Silverwing Militia with the streams. Helping me in other projects from my main channel, Jonathan Moline. And just being a good friend. You know what? I really want you to continue being you. Be happy. Enjoy life. And I've seen you happy every day. Matter of fact, you know, it's funny. I'm recording this. I'm recording this. You guys are on the sc uh, screen right now. Talking to my Discord server. Huh. Funny, right? Told you I'd make a video. Anyways, Dan, I want you to know that I care about you. And when you see this, hope you enjoy it. Because I'm proud of you. You got this, bro. Your puppeteering's sick. Stay frosty, my friend. And I'll catch you in the next one. I got a jam. Peace. Welcome.